Yeah, it was an ebb and flow. I mean, we started strong. I thought we started the game well, and then we kind of probably 25, 30 minutes, we were good. And then last 15 minutes or so of the first half, we kind of struggled a bit. We couldn't find the ball, got ourselves in some situations, but defense stayed strong. Second half, I felt like we started in the first 10, and then we just make a simple mistake, didn't track properly, and the guy slots the ball in. I uh, didn't make it 1-0, one, one but, you know, we didn't give up. We kept fighting. We showed character, made some adjustments with changes of the, of the team, and, you know, we had a couple good looks in the second half. And then, uh, obviously, Medi opportunistic and pounces on that, and, and we get the goal. So, yeah, I mean, we, really, we leave it up to the players, right? I mean, we let players tr practice them when they want to practice them. We let them do them when they want to do them. You know, and it's just all about – it's mentality, right? It's harder, in, it's harder in today's game because everybody has video and they know where you're going to go. And obviously the more we take them, the more teams are going to know where we're going to go. So that makes it a little bit harder. But, you know, we've had the right mentality and from the goalkeepers to the players taking them. So look, this is Burke's second year here, right? We have a lot of faith in Burke. I mean, he started the season when Dean was injured. Uh, and he did, did a good job for us. And then tonight, right, he was steady. And then we got to the penalties, he was big. And that's, that's all you ask for the goalkeepers. Overall, defensively, we defend we defend very well. Communication-wise, we were very on point. We talked a lot before the game, just how to mark um, the guys better, how to communicate from the far side who could see more than the near side who's got to guard the ball. And uh, the guys did phenomenal today. Um, I don't think I deserve as much credit as I do right now because the back line was incredible today, marking their guys, um, just communicating, even though they were gassed, especially in the first half. It was cooking. It was hot out. But they put they put a shift in. I think the first goal was unfortunate, but sometimes it's need to happen for a little boost. And if it happens, it happens. You got to move on, and we moved on from it very well. And we were able to get another one. And honestly, we thought we could have got two because we were just we were we were on them um, after that first goal. So sometimes it needs to happen. Unfortunately, it went in, but sometimes it needs to happen for us to get a little spark. And I think that spark happened uh, after that first goal around like seventy fifth minute to the end. I think it's more. It's obviously a lot more mental than it is physical. Um, it's definitely stressful for the kickers, so my, it makes my job a little bit easier. I'm not supposed to save them. They're shooting from whatever, 12 yards away. So I feel a lot more confident going into them. I know, I know Gene does as well. We prepare very well. Um, everyone, There's so many PKs in this league, so you really never know where guys are going to go. It's got to be a feeling. So even though maybe we look at the water bottle and we know where they go, these guys have been in, like, what, 15 shootouts as well. So it's you got to prepare, but you also have to have a feeling of where you're going to go. So the sheet is never always right. The texts are never always right. Sometimes you got to improv, and that's that's how PK shootouts are won. And for us, I think we just have a belief in each other before the game or before the PK shootout that we can we can get the result in that, especially for the extra point. And, uh, yeah, we get together. You know, we, we chop it up before. We have some fun, take the nerves away. And then once it's once it's showtime, everyone steps to the line confident in each other. And there's just a belief um, in each other that we can get, the, get it done, get the extra point in the PK. So I think that's what, what helps us a lot. I'm so happy that... They trust me to wear the uh, Capitan Banders tonight. Uh, this this for me means a lot. This for me means a lot to lead the team, to keep all the time the team in a good mood. Even when we was losing 1-0, it's really hard to keep the team, to give them, uh, to believe that we can score, to give them courage, to encourage them all the time and to uh, keep them in the high level. Because this was happened tonight. We was losing 1-0, we was keeping the same mood, we was keep continuing to attack, we was continue to believe in ourselves, and we just score. And again, we go to penalty kicks and we get two points, what in some moments in the game we didn't believe that we would get even one point, but we was just keep going and that's all. And for this team to be a captain, it means really a lot. For these fans who travel all the time with us, <clears throat> I really from all the team want to appreciate them, I want to say thank you for them, and these two points is for them. Strong. I think these two points for us, it's super important to trust in ourselves that we can be again where we was on the second place in the setting and all this stuff. Uh, game by game, we have to collect the points. Then, how I said in the dressing room for the guys, we have to collect every single point because for us it means now a lot because we need and we have to be in the playoffs because we are a team who have to be there. Even not just in playoffs, but in the final. And it means a lot for us. And these two points today was a good motivation to get next game three points and we'll go there just for three points.